my dear friends man who lives on this earth can live by any one of these forces they can live from outside they will be influenced by others their minds and hearts will be always pushed by the things that are happening around them the type of people with whom they live they have to adjust themselves according to the situations they have to please the people with whom they live or even act sometime even though their heart says something else they are pushed by outside which we call it the life of survival for the sake of survival they will be doing many things sometime even against their own conscience but there are other group of people who live from within and from within they move out they are aware of the truth who they are who has sent them into the world why am i on this earth and why has god who has created me sent me into this particular situation they are people from living from within to out they are known as people who are called to renew themselves and others so these two principles constantly are at work in us the principle of survival or the principle of revival i am here to survive myself or no i am here and sent by somebody with a great vision and mission to revive myself constantly with the truth of who am i and to revive the world in which god has sent me my dear friends as we know about the book of daniel daniel and three of his friends they were sent to babylon when the king of babylon came to jerusalem and destroyed the land destroyed the temple and then he took wise and learned young men carried them along with him to work for him so when they reached the kingdom he began to feed them with his own food the food that was served for himself a wonderful food and very good wine of great quality his intention was that they should be fed well and they should be faithful to the king all their needs will be taken care by the king of babylon nebuchadnezzar that they will be working for him in faithfulness but the king did not know that daniel and three of his friends especially about whom we read in the bible they were led by the laws of moses and they lived according to the command of god even in the difficult situations they are not prepared to live according to the desires of the king nebuchadnezzar or any of those people who live there they are not here to please somebody and to survive they knew that they have come from god they have the living god and the living god knows everything that is happening in their lives including their life today in the land of babylon god has a purpose and without his purpose he he will not have sent us here and he has a mission for us to fulfill and they identified themselves with the law of the lord they allowed the word of the lord to rule their hearts jesus said in john's gospel chapter 15 verse 
I am the vine. You are my branches. Verse 5 and 7. If you remain in me, and my word remains in you, you will ask whatever you want and God will give it to you. Jesus said, don't live like the people of this world to survive. Your existence is not for survival. You are sent into the world to live by my word and revive the world wherever you are being placed. Now, Daniel and his friends, they always lived by God. That's why when the very good food was served, Daniel chapter 1 verse 8, it is written, Daniel resolved, Daniel determined that he will not do anything whereby his gods, his God, the Lord God will bring, he will bring any pain to his, the Lord is God. He will not do anything that will bring pain to his God. He did only what God wanted him to do. He followed the law of the Lord and refused to eat the food. And he lived with the power of God. He manifested the power of God. And even when he was thrown in the lions, then he bound the mouse of the lion. He never went to the king to ask for favor. To protect him. No. He knew. I am the child of God. And my protection comes from the Lord. I don't care about any human being. In the matters of faith. Faith means. As Paul says in Hebrews. Chapter 11 verse 6. Being aware. And allow this truth. To burn in the minds and hearts of our lives. What are the truths? Number one, our God is a living God. He knows everything yet to his set of our life. He is the God of yesterday. He is the God of today. And he is the God of forever. Hebrews 13, 8. Yes. So, we live, move and have our being in him by the Lord. Acts 17, 28. So these three men now, the friends of Daniel now, they were tested. The king is saying, Hello my dear, I have made the fire that if you do not worship the statue which I have made, a great beautiful statue of 90 feet height, 9 feet breadth of golden statue of himself. But if you don't believe, if you don't worship as I hear, you will be thrown into the fire. Now, these three young men, if they have to survive, they have to obey the king of Nebuchadnezzar, a king of Babylon. But they knew their God. Faith means believe that you our God is a living God and he will always take care of those who trust in him. Yes. They knew the Deuteronomy book which says, Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 15 onwards says, See, I set before you life and prosperity. 